Alright, so in this video, I'll be predicting the grade thresholds for the May June Pure 1 paper for all three variants. To do this, I'll be analyzing the previous grade thresholds to help make somewhat of an informed prediction. Now, do take this with a grain of salt because these are only my predictions and Cambridge has stated that apart from statistical analysis, they also use their professional judgment. And I don't work for Cambridge, so make of this what you will. But anyways, subscribe and let's dive right in. Before I actually get into the prediction, I do want to mention that Cambridge has stated that in terms of grade thresholds, they are trying to return to the pre-COVID standards. So what this means is that this year's grade thresholds are more likely to resemble those of 2019 than of 2023. If you don't know what I'm talking about, make sure to watch this video where I explain exactly what grade thresholds are and how COVID has affected them. Because of this, we're going to use data from the years 2017, 2018, 2019 and jump the whole COVID period to 2023. And these years are going to help us with the prediction. Let's look at the data for 2017 and we'll start with variant 1. It's pretty consistent, recording 59 marks for an A in the June session and 60 marks in the November session. And so it averaged 59.5 marks in 2017. Moving on to variant 2, the threshold kept dropping throughout the year from 64 in March to 63 in June and finally 60 in November, meaning it averaged 62.3 marks in 2017. Variant 3 was the most consistent at this year, recording 61 marks in both June and November sessions, and so it averaged 61 marks in 2017. 2018 showcased a massive increase for variant 1, who recorded 62 marks in both sessions. Variant 2, not so consistent this time, still matching the 62 mark average set by Variant 1. This was largely aided by the ludicrous 65 marks in the June series. To put it into context, you had to get 87% or higher to get an A for the June Variant 2 paper. And if you thought that was crazy, Variant 3 had even more ridiculous thresholds, recording 65 in the June series and 62 in the November series, bringing its average for 2023 to a massive, unprecedented 63.5 marks. Apologies to anyone who wrote Variant 3 in that year. And in 2019, we witnessed absolute madness from Variant 2, but we'll get there. Let's start with Variant 1 which recorded 62 marks in the June series and 61 marks in the November series, bringing its average for 2019 to a respectable 61.5 marks. I don't know what happened to Variant 2 in this year, but the thresholds here were scary. In March, it recorded a whopping 66 marks. Just think about that for a second. 66 out of 75 is 88%. That's almost A-star territory. Shocking. In the June series, it slowed down though, and it dropped to 62 marks, which is still quite impressive. But the drama is not quite over yet. If you thought that 66 marker in March was a one-time thing, think again. Because in November, Variant 2 recorded another 66 marker. I thought I made a mistake, so I went over the data three more times, but yes, what you're seeing is correct. The average threshold for Variant 2 in 2019 was 64.7. In other words, on average, you needed at least 86% to get an A if you wrote Variant 2 in 2019. It's simply ludicrous. Variant 3 was nowhere near as impressive as Variant 2. It recorded 62 marks in June and 63 marks in November to average 62.5 marks in 2019. Now we're going to skip the COVID years and jump to 2023. With the 2023 thresholds, they are still somewhat affected by COVID. If you don't know what I mean, I explain it in this video where I talk about grade thresholds and how they were affected by COVID. So give that a watch first before you come back to this section. But anyways, you find that 2023 thresholds are generally lower than the thresholds we witnessed in the pre-COVID era. So that's 2019 going backwards. But it makes sense to include these 2023 thresholds since they are the most recent thresholds that we have access to. Variant 1 recorded 50 marks in the June series and increased to 55 marks in the November series, bringing its average to 52.5 marks. 
Variant 2 was all over the place, recording a pre-COVID like 60 mark in the March series, followed by an underwhelming 49 marker in the June series, and finally a 55 marker in the November series. This brought his average to 54.7 marks. Unlike the other variants, Variant 3 seems like it's done with the whole COVID rubbish and is pretty much back to pre-COVID standards. It recorded 62 marks in both June and November. This means it averaged 62 marks in 2023, which is only 0.5 marks below its 62.5 mark average in 2019. So if you're from Variant 3, chances are COVID thresholds are probably over for you. Now it's all well and good analyzing data from the past, but what does this mean for the future, particularly the May-June thresholds? Are they going to resemble more of pre-COVID standards or be somewhat in keeping with the slightly more generous thresholds that COVID has blessed us with? Here are my predictions. Looking at variant 1, it should probably be around 57, 58 marks. So I'm going to say 57. Variant 2, I do expect it to be slightly higher than variant 1. So I'm going to say 59. But I think it could be higher than that also given the whole leak situation. It could be way more inflated than this. Variant 3 might have the highest threshold given that in 2023 it was the only one averaging over 60 marks. So I'm going to be a little modest and predict it to be at exactly 60 marks. But if the variant 2 leak situation gets out of hand, variant 2 might just take it home. And now most of you probably want the great boundaries for the other symbols, so here they are. I haven't really put much thought into them because this video would end up being unnecessarily long, but generally there's usually a 9, 10, 11 mark gap between each grade boundary. In some cases, the interval may be smaller or even bigger than that, so take this with a grain of salt. So there it is, my final predictions for the May-June 2024 Pure One papers. Again, this is not the be it and end all, these are just my thoughts and I would love to hear your predictions for the major and pure 1 thresholds in the comments section. Make sure to tune in next week for the pure 3 grade thresholds prediction. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. Until then, bye bye.